How do airplanes fly? The complete sense of leave, thrust, and control. Flying is one of the greatest achievements of human engineering. Yet, for many people, it remains a mystery. How can a massive metal machine, often weighing hundreds of tons, lift off the ground and stay in the air? What forces make flight possible? At first glance, it seems almost magical, but in reality, flying is based on well understood principles of physics. The science behind flight is a combination of aerodynamics, engineering, and precise control mechanism that allows pilots to maneuver aircraft with incredible precision. In this video, we will break down the complete science of how airplanes fly covering the fundamental forces that keeps an aircraft in the air lift, thrust, drag, and weight as well as the crucial role of flight control surfaces that allow pilots to steer, climb, and descend safely. By the end, you will have a clear understanding of the fascinating mechanics that allow airplanes to defy gravity and travel across the world. The full forces of flight for an airplane to take off stay in the air and land safely. It must interact with four fundamental forces. These forces, lift, thrust, drag, and weight or gravity, work together to create and control flight. The number one is the lift, the force that overcomes gravity. Lift is the key force that allows an airplane to raise into the sky. But where does lift come from? The answer lies in the shape of airplane's wings. Aircraft wings are designed with a special shape known as an airfoil. When air flows over and under the wings, it moves at different speeds due to the wings' curvature. The air moving over the top of the wings has to travel faster, creating low pressure. The air moving below the wing travels slower, creating high pressure. This pressure difference creates an upward force known as lift, which pushes the airplanes into the air. This principle is explained by Bernoulli's principle, which states that faster moving air has lower pressure. However, lift alone isn't enough. The plane also needs forward motion, which brings us to the second force, it means thrust. The force that moves the plane forward. Thrust is the force that propels an airplane towards. This force is generated by engines, which can be either jet engines or propellers. Jet engines work by sucking in air, compressing it, mixing it with fuel, and igniting it. The rapid expansion of hot gases pushes the aircraft forward. Propeller-driven planes create thrust by pulling air backward with spinning blades, which moves the aircraft to forward. The stronger the thrust, the faster the airplane moves. And as the plane speeds up, more air flows over the wings, increasing lift. Once lift exceeds the plane's weight, the aircraft takes off. Number three is drag. The force that slows the plane down as the airplane moves forward. It encounters drag, which is the resistance of air against the aircraft movement. Drag is caused by two main factors, friction drag and pressure drag. Air rubbing against the surface of the plane, and the pressure drag is the difference in air pressure in front of and behind the aircraft. Engineers designed airplanes to minimize drag by using sleek aerodynamic shapes, allowing them to fly more efficiently. However, some amount of drag is always present, requiring constant thrust to maintain speed. And the last force is weight or gravity, the force that pulls the plane down. Weight or gravity is the force that pulls the airplane toward the air. To keep an aircraft in the air, lift must contract weight. If lift is greater than weight, the plane climbs. If lift equal weight, the plane maintains altitude. If lift is less than weight, the plane descends. Balancing these four forces, lift, thrust, drag, and weight is what allows an airplane flying smoothly. 
But there is a question. How pilots control an airplane? Now that we understand how an airplane stays in the air, let's explore how it moves and, and changes direction. Pilots control aircraft using control surfaces, which adjust airflow and change the aircraft's orientation in three dimensions. Number one, ailerons, rolling left and right. Ailerons are small flaps located on the trailing edge of the wings. They control roll, which move the airplane to the left or right. When the right aileron goes up and left aileron goes down, the right wings moves down and the left wing moves up, which making the plane roll left. When the left aileron goes up and the right aileron goes down, the plane rolls right. Roll is essential for making turns in the air. Number two is elevators, climbing and descending. Elevators are located on the tail's horizontal stabilizer and control pitch, the up and down movements of an airplane's nose. When the elevator moves up, the nose rises, and the plane climbs. When the elevator moves down, the nose lowers, and the plane descends. By adjusting pitch, pilots control altitude changes during takeoff, landing, and cruising. Number three is rudder. Turning the nose left and right, the rudder is a vertical flaps on the tail's vertical stabilizer. It controls yaw, which turns the airplane's nose left or right. Moving the rudder left turns the nose left. Moving the rudder right, turn the nose right. However, rudder movement alone doesn't make a plane turn. Instead, pilots use a combination of aileron and rudder for smooth coordination turns and the fourth one is flaps and slats. Controlling speed and lift flaps on the trailing edge of the wings and slats on the leading edge increase lift at slow speed. Flaps extended downward during landing and takeoff, allowing planes to fly at slower speed without stalling. As slats moves forward, increasing the wing's surface area and improve lift. These surfaces are critical during takeoff and landing when the aircraft needs more lift at lower speed. But let's know how planes stay stable in the air. While flying, airplanes naturally remain stable due to three types of stability. Number one is longitudinal stability or pitch stability. Keep the nose from moving too much up or down. Number two is lateral stability or roll stability. Prevents the wings from tripping too much side to side. Number three is directional stability or yaw stability. Ensures the plane stays pointed in the right direction. Engineers design aircraft with features like dihydral wings, balancing weight distribution and automatic flight control system to maintain stability even in turbulence. And in final words, so how do the planes fly? The answer lies in the dedicated balance of lift, thrust, drag, and weight, combined with precise pilot control using ailerons, elevators, rudders, flaps, and slats. Modern aviation is a perfect blend of science, engineering, and technology, allowing aircraft to fly safely across vast distances. Whether you're traveling on a short domestic flight or a long-haul international journey, every airplane relies on three principles to take off, cruise, and land smoothly. Next time you're aboard on a flight, you will have a deeper appreciate for the incredible forces and engineering that make flying possible. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey knowing that the science of flying is working seamlessly around you. Please don't forget to subscribe, click on the like button, share this video with your friends. This will help our videos and our contents to grow on the YouTube channel and show to more audiences. Thank you and please share your feedbacks on the comments.